mean, look at that now. The speed's dropping rapidly. I'm down to three and a half thousand meters. All right, three thousand meters. See, this is another reason why I let it drop fast for quite a while, because when you start getting this height, you start slowing yourself down. In fact, I'm going to cut the engines there and then finish off when I get down to the bottom. How are we doing? Where are we going to land? Oh my god, that's fucking going to crash into the planet sometime soon. Planetoid, planet, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right, okay, just get yourself on somewhere level. I don't want to be hitting that edge there, so I'm going to slow myself down to effectively zero. Oh, right, there we go, we're going back up a little bit now. Right, if you could be so kind, get yourself on that very, very upmost pointy marker. Now, I'm not unsure, entirely sure what it would be called, this place. Now, we know we've got the prograde, retrograde, normal and anti-normal. What would this be? Is it, would it be pole or something or other? Comments in the comments section if you know. I know you guys are pretty knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. I mean, so far you guys have told me about Delta Vs. You've told me what the meter, what Miko means, main engine cutoff. Uh, what else? You guys have told me a few space terms. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. So if you could tell me what this point and, by extension, the point underneath is. I'm not going to flip around now because I don't think I have the time. But, yeah. The more grammar I know, the better. 830 meters and dropping wildly. Not quite falling on the point I was hoping to. I'm still got a tiny little bit of lateral drift. Without a SAS or RCS tanks, this is going to be a little bit harder than usual, but if you play the game long enough, you can do this no problem. I'm not worried. Right, 24 meters, take it down to 10. Again, we can hit the floor now a lot harder than what we could. This time I've got the heavy duty legs on, which are a shit ton more stronger than what those little toothpick ones were that I was using for the Jebediah's one little mission. But these shouldn't bow or keel or anything when I hit this floor. In fact, I'm going to be a, bit, a little bit ruthless. This could fuck up the mission right now. I'm going to hit the floor a steady 10. Oh no, it's a bit too fast. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Right, okay, a steady 10. A steady 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I think of that, so... Right, you bastards. Extend, extend. It's time to have a party on Mimus, motherfuckers! Who do we get out first? Bill. Oh, grab the ladder. Again, one small step for Kerbals, one giant leap for Kerbal Kine. Bill, first Kerbal to set foot on the Mimus surface. <laughs> and of course, the low gravity animation is a lot more... What's it called here? How high do we jump? Whoa, we effectively jump nearly as high as that rocket. I hope this isn't going to hurt us on the way down. Nah, of course it doesn't. Next, Bob. Sod climbing, you're going to RCS pack your way down. Careful, this is ice. There could be a thin part somewhere. You don't want to fall through it. And last but not least, good old Jebediah. Oh dear. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall and hurt myself there. Oh, mind yourself. Alright, all three cables are on Mimus. We did it, chaps. Eh... Uh, Mission time! Jebediah first to um, go carry out today's mission. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, Jebediah over here is going to have a look at some Mimus rocks. Because now we can actually get out. Unlike the Legacy Quest where they're confined to the pod, they can actually go and have an investigate at some rocks. A lot bigger than what I thought they were. I remember when I was taking the moon, the, when I took the moon rover on the moon, and I, I went straight through one. They seemed quite big, but uh, quite small. But now, now oh, effectively quite big, right? You analyse the rock, Jebediah. Um, 
Who have we got here? I don't even know. Bill Kerman. Right, you, you sit by and you guard the rocket. Bob on the other hand. Bob Hoskins, I want you to... I want you on top of that mountain over there. This could be um, a bit of a bad idea. I might have to pick him up with the craft afterwards. I don't know how tall that mountain is. All I know is that I want to fucking reach it. Right. How far are we? <laughs> Jeb sat down there, Bill back at the base, next to Hope One. You'd think it'd be Jeb who's going out doing this, but Bobby's just had enough. He's had enough of Jeb being the one who gets all the limelight for being the brave one, so he's gone and commi uh, committed a fool's errand here to go investigate one of the peaks of Minmus. i tell you what I would like to do. I'd like to know where that fucking moonolith is. The one that floats above Minmus somewhere. Don't know why it floats. I don't know how we're supposed to be able to get up there. But never mind. 83%. I think we're going to make it up here. Now, are we going to make it down? Get a look, get a good look, pal, while you can. All right, so uh, I need to get a bit more upwards thrust on the go. Hmm, I wonder. I just thought, could I send? one of these cables tumbling back down. Oh, what have we got over there? Oh, there's Kerbin. Hi, Kerbin. Uh, what's that? Is that... No, that's a piece of fluff on my TV. I thought that was the moon then. Effectively, we should be able to see the moon somewhere floating about. It could be behind Kerbin. I mean, I would have thought we would have seen it so far. I hope it's not behind Kerbin. I want a good view of this on top of this mountain. How are we doing for fuel? Let's say 75%. Just like I thought, using the EVA pack on Minmus is a lot of fun. I had a feeling it would be. Oh, God. <laughs> I had a bit of a brain fart. I was like, why are these EVA controls not working? It's a failure! <laughs> nah, we're having no more failed missions. I've had enough of failed missions. Legacy, fail. Um, space planes before that, fail. Uh, what else did I do before that? Um, I don't know, there's been a lot of failures recently. The last mission wasn't so much of a failure. And even so, I'm not counting this moon mission, previous moon mission, as some legitimate KSP missions because come the next video, I'm breaking the mods back out and I've got some shit lined up for you. I've got some goodies in store for you, you guys, the loyal KSP fans. So I hope you plan on sticking around. Alright, we're nearly at the peak. How are we doing for fuel? Uh, 67%. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll ace getting back down here. I, I can't even see that any uh, the ship anymore, which kind of defeats the object. I wanted to get a proper good view of what, what um, Mimus has to offer. Oh, what's that over there? Is that like a little cliff face? Uh, right, can you reverse thrust for me a little bit? I'm fucking burning bare RCS fuel here now. Uh, right, give me a bit of upwards thrust. That, that'll do. Get yourself on that floor, on this little bit of a peak here. I don't want to run out of fuel. Definitely not. I want to be able to get all the kerbals back. Uh, one thing I learnt as well, someone told me in the comment section that you can hold shift to sprint. That doesn't work in low grav situations, but uh, I'll tell you what does work. If you press alt, at the moment, as you can see when I press direction, the Kerbal turns and he goes the direction I'm facing. That's obviously W, A, S, and D. Now, what you can do is if you slap, if you press alt once, you then get this kind of movement, which is like a strafey strafey movement backwards forwards. To change it back, Hit alt. I mean, the alt function is exactly the same as the RCS pack function, except you don't have your RCS pack out, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd mention that. Mm -hmm. You're a long way from home, son. Where the fuck is that moon? 
It has to be behind Kerbin. That's the only that's the only thing I can think of. Right. Meanwhile, oh no, we can we can't go back. So uh, looks like it's time to go back. Uh, Bob, it is Bob in it. I think it's Bob. Give yourself a bit of upwards thrust. We're not going to need much because we're going to be falling with style down the side of this mountain. And forward. It's enough upward momentum, I reckon. Ah, the view's beautiful from up here. Wouldn't you agree, Bob? Bill, Bob, <laughs> whichever one you are, I wish my memory was better. Just get a little telescope and just have a quick butch at what's, what the crack is. So, um, no nearby objects. What would count as a nearby object? 5 kilometers, 2.5 kilometers, something like that. Something worth testing, but I'm not going to do it as I'm falling down this mountain. Because the last thing I want now is fucking poor old Bob stumbling down the side of the hill and dying. Poor old Bob. Poor old Bob. Ah, a nice casual glide down. Can I speed up time up here? Oh, I can as well because, oh. Well, that got me a little bit further. I was going to say because that I was over at like X height. I think it's over 3,000 meters. In fact, I'm going to have to keep an eye on my, uh, my descent speed. Lateral, I'm not so bothered about. I'll sort that out as and when I come a bit closer. Oh my god, 31%! You are kidding me! Alright, that's not good news, so... Um, I may have to get picked up by Hope 1. I hope that isn't the case, because without RCS thrusters, that can be a bit of a pain in the backside. Alright, let's see if I can slow my... Descent down to a nice level peg in. Alright, bring yourself a bit of reverse thrust as well. Take it down to 20%, see how that goes. I think we are going to make it, I'm not too worried in that respect, but I am a little bit worried that we might come down with a bit of a thud. Hmm. Don't we really hope one will be there soon. Um, get yourselves a bit more aim towards it. Right, take us down to 15% or oh, a perfect stop of falling. Alright, that's quite nice. Okay, so take me down to 10%. Bringing my, my lateral speed down. Alright, take it down to 10% through keeping myself boosted up. I don't want to run out of RCS pack fuel and I have to run back to Hope 1 because that can take a bit of a while. I'm hoping Jeb's finished looking at that rock now. <laughs> He's probably sat there looking at it thinking, I don't know what to do. I haven't been programmed to deal with this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh well. Uh, right, so we're close to Jeb, we're less than a kilometre to, to the, um, the ship. We're <laughs> on 6.3%. How are you doing? 5.3%, okay. Descent is quite slow. We've passed Jeb. I can just about make him out. Oh god, what did I do that for? Um, right, 3%. Okay, can you slow down? I want you to fucking stop. Use all that fuel. Stop, stop. Alright, okay, so we didn't die. But we are sliding. Come back! Get up! <laughs> I know. Oh God, this could like this could go on. This could for a while. Um, you fool! How how's um? Well, I'll wait for him to stop sliding away. Oh, did his animation get stuck? Um, the fuck happened here, Bill? Yeah, uh, Jeb. <laughs> it turns out his animations got stuck. It's not good at all, is it? Now I've never seen him do that as much as I've had it out. I am Jesus, Jesus Kerbal. 
nailed to a rocket and sent into space. Jesus, Bob. You slid for quite a distance, didn't you? Alright, get back. <laughs> Turns out this is going this is turning into a bit of a a bad mission. Poor Bob's gone sliding on his face. Jeb's become frozen from standing on the ice that long. And fuck knows what's happened to Bill. I wouldn't be surprised if he just glitched out, stood there like an icy statue. Alright, get in. <laughs> that looks fucking stupid. Oh god. Um Alright, can you get up now? Thank you. How far am I away from this now? Uh pretty far I'd say. Oh god. Oh god. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Brit uh, for those of you uh, who were my British viewers, how are we getting some fucking amazing weather at the moment? Jesus Christ. I'm sat in my room right now and I am absolutely sweltering my Betty Swallocks off. Oh. Oh, it's fucking lovely. In fact, I shouldn't be even sat in here recording this today. I should be outside in the garden enjoying that shit. But no. I decided, I figured that I'd give the fans what I want, and not only that, I think I'd rather spend indoors all day playing Kerbal anyway. It's a good game, can't deny that. The channel wouldn't be as popular if it fucking wasn't, but never mind, eh? It's all about the change. So, um, what's the crack with Je uh, Bill over here? Why, why did those pair freeze into that kind of position? Interesting. Is it the same issue as what Dinosat and Powertech have with their solar panels? Because if you go too far away from them, they kind of get stuck into a uh, into a position like a, a ready position, and they don't animate no more. So I'm wondering if that's what's happened to the Kerbals here. Possibly something that'll get fixed in a future update. Highly doubt it'll be one of the 16 point whatever hot fixes. Possibly something. It's got, it sounds like a feature most suited to um, a patch all on its own. Um, Alright, get on this ladder. Grab it. Get up. It's time to get out of here. You've had enough for one day. Too much excitement can make you hyperactive. Alright, okay, so. You're on board. And last but not least, we have Bill. Get your RCS pack out and Jesus, you way into there. Jesus. <laughs> Kerbal Jesus. Get him. Okay, so looks like we're time to go time to go home. We've got quite a lot of fuel in this thing, so I won't be surprised if I could try and get at least a precision landing out of it. No idea. Gonna find out now, so we're gonna turn the SAS off. Well, on off, I don't really suppose it matters. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of thrust, gear up, turn to 270 as per, and this is it, thrust all the way up. 